Perfect. Perfect. Okay guys, so today we're actually going to go pick up a Sir on X and we're going to go pick it up, I believe, in San Diego. Because I was I was going to go to Bike Craze, to Anaheim, or go to Luna, but to be honest, it just didn't make sense because I mean, I have a big truck and how gas prices are right now. So anyways guys, let's get this show on the road. Alrighty guys, we just made it here. We're at AutoZone Power Sports right now and we're about to go and get ourselves a Sir on. So. I just went through right now and checked it out. To be honest, I thought these surrounds were gonna be a little bit more smaller. Really, I thought they were. Alrighty guys, so this is the one that they have in display right now. Pretty good grips. I would change them, but it's pretty cool. Maybe a little USB there. there we go. I'll do that. I like delete, but very close to boat, right? Sure, all day is sick, man. Like, I thought they were gonna be a little bit more. I just barely got out of there. I just paid for it. Actually, I'm going to, for the pegs, but I'm gonna actually pay for them to assemble it. I was going to do an unbox like thousands of those videos already, and I honestly just wanna have. They said this can be finished between one and two, but hopefully it's earlier. Right now, it's uh, it's like it's like 11:45. The assembler is not here yet. So, so anyways, I'll tune back and I'll show you guys the results. Accessories, I'll be showing you guys later. But enough talking, let's have some fun. Alrighty, guys, we're back home and we about to get on the Suron. Sorry guys, had to turn off my tunes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> impression guys is it's pretty nice it's pretty nice um go a little slow so the wind wouldn't just be 
check out my mask too so I can talk to you guys. But it's pretty nice. Uh, the way how I see it right now, it's just, it's a commuter, you know, like it's a nice commuter. If you need something, you know, that goes a little fast or, you know, you just want something to cruise on. And it's just, it's nice, you know? And hold on, I'm gonna check my percentage. 99, I believe. And it's just really nice, man. Um, suspension wise, it could be better. It could be better, but obviously it's stock suspension, so. But over time, obviously, it'll be a lot better. Um, I mean, over time, <laughs> I mean, if you actually replace the suspension, then it'll be a lot better. Uh, probably go for like a, a Fox, a Fox or a, I forgot what was the other one called. But uh, uh, rear, rear suspension's the same thing. I will go with the, like a Fox as well. But I mean, that's me personally. I like Fox. Uh, I just think it's a really good brand, really good quality. And you know, it is really nice. What percentage are we at? Ninety-nine percent. Not bad. We only shaved the percent off. So, anyways, guys. But let's get back to the ride. Sorry guys, if I, if I haven't really talked to you guys because I mean obviously I'm riding. We got wind in the air. Uh, I, at the moment, I don't have my helmet on, so. And at the moment, I don't I don't also have a mic, an external mic for, for my setup. I really hope my, my footage is actually coming out pretty good. That would suck if, it, if it's not. We're currently at 87%. So, not bad, not bad. Ooh. Hey, man, 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 man. <laughs> I'm jamming this two stroke here. Just freaking ripping these trails, bro. To be honest, uh, these tires for the dirt, I I won't really recommend it, cause I mean, I, I don't recommend it for loose sand. It's hard, it's a lot more harder than yeah, I recommend it. But the knobs on these tires are really, really, um, they're very soft. So obviously, if they're very soft, they're not gonna have, they're not gonna be as rigid. And if they're not as rigid, they're not gonna be able to get as much grip as you prefer it to be, especially when you're doing, you know, corners and stuff. So I'll, re I'll recommend to switching to some thicker, rigider tires, uh, maybe some, in some Enduros, maybe some, some dual sports, you know. Um, they, also they also have them in El Cajon over there in MotoZone. So if you guys ever want, or you know, if you guys ever thinking of getting those type of tires, then just 
go hit them up. Um, I'll also try to leave a link to see if like, they have a website. Um, and you guys can check them out. And yeah. <laughs> but jeez. It's a nice day. Like in the in, in the morning, it was like pretty cloudy. It was pretty cloudy in the morning, and I really thought it was gonna be cloudy all day. But you no, know, this sunshine. <laughs> if you guys are if you guys are if you guys don't know that movie, then you guys are too young. Click off, click off, click off this video right now. Go watch it. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Jeez, nice. I like these trails, but they're too soft. The it's too the, the dirt's too loose. There's too much rocks, and obviously, if you don't want to be riding too much, too many rocks, too little rocks, so you just, you just be kicking them up, and it'll just be hitting your paint, and it could be ruining your paint. So, anyways, currently at. 86% still, dang. That's what happens when you're on EP mode. I'm slow here, because I don't want to hit my bars on those ends. Yeah, I think we can make it. Yeah, we can make it. Alrighty guys, we made it to the mall. Welcome to Westfield Escondido Mall. Sears is still there even though they're not even there anymore. <laughs> Out of business. Out of biz business. <laughs> well, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. And also guys, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. What type of uh, electric transportation do you guys drive? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys are riding. E-bikes, e-scooters. Uh, those unicycles, uh, elong boards, and just let me know. And also, uh, do you guys prefer to have a Segway or do you guys prefer to have a Surum? Let me know. And the third question is if you guys have any tried anything. It could be literally any type of thing, anything. What would you like guys like? Just let me know. I'm just curious, you know? There she is, guys. Give you a better angle. There she is. Oh. Okay. There you go. So there she is, guys. The Suron X Light B slash X Edition. Such a nice bike, really nice bike. Oh, my headlights are out in front. I didn't even realize that. There you go. I'm also gonna be doing video, guys, of how we're gonna be upgrading this. I'm gonna put a light kit on it. Um, I'm also gonna do some maintenance videos to show you exactly how to maintain it and everything. But so far, it's a really nice bike. I would recommend this bike for somebody that wants a commuter and obviously has a budget for these because they're not cheap and they're just really nice bikes. Really, really nice bikes. Really nice bikes. I would upgrade for a system, do the cheapest things I guess, obviously, um, do pegs, um, do, a, do a brace for your peg mounts. That, that little brace right here, I already did it. It's a little bar right in between, like right there, right there between the chain and the peg. This is just the bar, so it reinforces the, the bracket where your, where your pegs go. And I guess the next thing what I will do is switch the sprocket. If you want more torque, you know, I will switch the sprocket. If you want top speed, then you're gonna have to upgrade, you know, the controller and your battery system for that. I, I mean, if you want, if you want to do that and the sprocket, just letting you know, if you have more teeth, you're going to have more torque, we're going to have less speed, top speed. It's it's all mathematics, it's all ratios, guys. So, I first would recommend first going with the battery and the controller. If you don't have enough money for both, I would recommend go first with the controller, save some money, then get the battery or vice versa, however you want to do it. But, other than that, that'll be my main, main one will be, for, for me right now, will be my brake system. My brake system meaning my meaning my 
calipers, my my calipers, my rotors, and also my obviously my little pistons for you know the hydraulic pistons and my and my brake levers. So that, that's what I would do first. Um, I'm also gonna you know upgrade my my sprocket to a 62, no 64 or 62 tooth um, to get more torque out of it, so I could do some gnarly wheelies, you know, some dank wheelies. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, and then after that, I guess I would, um, I guess I would do the seat. I would do the seat next. It's a nice seat, don't get me wrong. It's just after a while, obviously your bum is gonna feel, not feel well. <laughs> so, yeah. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys find this information useful, hit that like button and also consider subscribing if you guys wanna see more content. And if you guys have any, any ideas, you could also leave any ideas down below of what you guys want me to do or any type of content. We could go off-roading, we could do anything like that. Um, and next thing I'll do is I'm going to go hit some eat, eat meats because I want to go and meet other people, meet other people with um, channels and stuff like that and, you know, help support the community, especially the eat bike community. So that'll be the next thing, for, at least for me. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'm also doing a raffle as well. Um, it's going to be some lowrider handlebars and I'm going to show a picture up here right now of exactly how they're going to look Before like. Four easy steps to enter the raffle is going to be hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I have new content up. And also leave a, a comment down below of your name for me to know who you are so I can be answering your name into the raffle, into the practically into the algorithm, which is going to be totally randomized. So whoever wins, best of luck to you guys. But anyway guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm going to go inside the mall right now and take care of some business. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.